is this is amazing. So I was like, what else do I want? Right. Craigslist is my like magic lamp. It's the genie and I need to go and I need to make another wish. And so I go, oh, yeah. Remember that video of Mark Zuckerberg? And so this is the part I learned from you, which is describe it like a kid with no filter. So I literally <laughs> just put up a video. I, I, I put up the post. And I go, uh, hey, I was watching. I was on TikTok and I saw this video. It looked awesome. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I want to do that. That looks fun. And I was like, will you come? I was like, will somebody come to my house to just like train me kind of like that? Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm a beginner and I don't even really want to ever fight. I just think that looks like a really fun workout. So I want to <laughs> do that. Um, I don't know who I need. You don't have to be an expert, just like somebody who could just watch that video. And if you think you could do that for me, then uh, just call me or maybe text me, whatever. <laughs> <That's my post. laughs> so I posted that and immediately guy, I got a hit from some guy who's like, Hey, uh, I did MMA for 10 years. I could totally train you. He's like, I trained with the Diaz brothers in, in Stockton and you know, I'm a Caesar Gracie purple belt. I'm a striker, but I was like, Whoa, okay, great. And he's like, he's like, uh, and so he calls me. And I'm like, all right, yeah, um, do I need like equipment or like, how do I do this? And he was just like, no, you, he's like, you don't need anything. I was like, what do you do during the day? He's like, I'm a handyman. And I was like, he's like, oh, this is cool because I'll get back into shape, too. And I was like, all right, sounds fun. And he's like, uh, did he like fix like, a bunch of stuff afterwards at your house? No, but I, in my mind, I was like, dude, I've been looking for a handyman. too. Like, <laughs> my wife's always on me about building and assembling things and hanging things. I was like, this is a two for one, baby. And so which basically he, means this guy is like a professor. Like his he's the reason he was on Craigslist. He was probably looking for handyman gigs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he just happened to see this. was like, oh, I used to whoop ass. And so he goes, um, and, the, and what I why I knew he would be good. He goes. What are you doing today? And I was awesome. like, uh, 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 I was like mentally not prepared to like immediately get in a fight today. So I was like, no, but how about tomorrow? He's like, all right, I'll be there. What time? I was like, I don't know. Uh, let's do the morning. He goes, great. I'll be there at 8 a.m. <laughs> and I was like, okay. shit. And so he came over, we trained and he came over, by the way, looking like a handyman. He comes over in his like handyman boots, his like, you know, like those jeans that are just, like covered in paint. And he's like, rolls up. He's got like, a pair of, he's got a set of keys that has like 1400 keys on it. I was like, bro, do you have the keys to my house? What's going on here? And so he just got all <laughs> these keys, all, he brings his boots and he's just like, so he's one of these guys right, that works out in his jeans or what? Yeah. So he basically did the whole workout in his jeans, which was crazy to me. <laughs> and he's like throwing kicks in his combat boots. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Uh, but he knew what he was talking about. And so he trained me and I'm still super sore. It was incredible. My I had to ice my knuckles. My hand was in so much pain last night. It was great. I don't know if this is legit. I felt like a did real you, man. Like, did you did some did you do a little reference checking? Like, I, I don't know if that's how it works. No, no, I don't do reference checks. Well, I, I do, that's all right. Did maximum you guys, like, risk at all times. Did you like wrestle or do jujitsu? Like, did you roll? What did you do? Yeah. He, well, he's like, all right, we're going to start with the basics. He's like, here's how you move your feet. And he's like, and then here's how you throw a jab. Here's how you throw a cross. And it's like, and you know, you know, these things, but he's like, you know, clean it up. Right. Like, let's do these right. Um, and then, but I told him, I was like, dude, I don't want to just learn tactics. Like, I'm not here to learn technique. I'll learn just enough technique to make the session worth it. But I was like, I was like, you know, that video, I was like the, I want the sweat that they were breaking. I want the way that they were breaking that sweat. A competitive sweat is what I'm looking for. And then he he hits me with this. He goes, yeah, I didn't watch the video, but I, I got an idea what you want. And I was like, bro, there was only one thing in the ad. It was one <laughs> two-minute video. <laughs> you didn't even watch the video? He's like, no. And uh, But at the end, we basically like sparred. And so for 10 minutes, we just like fought. And it was amazing. My brother-in-law came. So uh, long time oh, okay. listeners so, of the pod. No, brother Aaron. He he was there. So Aaron, he kind of like vouched or not vouched, but he kind of checked the guy out. Uh, no, not that he checked the guy out. He was just like my sparring partner to do the thing. Dude, I'm reading. This is so funny. You're bringing this up this morning. Uh, you know, I listen to like three audio books a week because I go. I like walking. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I like walking. And uh, the book that I'm listening to now, it's called When Violence is the Answer. And <laughs> by Sam and, Parr, <laughs> and a the, memoir. <laughs> and the premise is, is that basically like violence is rarely the answer, but when it is, it's the only answer. And when it is the only answer, you want to act fast and as violently as possible. 
And uh, it just tells like stories and like, he's like, I'm not teaching you tactics. Well, we're going to talk principles. And the, the whole book is basically <laughs> like, when you have to be violent, you want to annihilate them as fast as possible and take their mind completely out of the equation. Because like, it's like, have you ever given like punched in the balls? You're like, oh, I can't fight. Like, there's nothing I can think about right, right now. Right, or imagine right. like being button. in a fight and like just having your elbow broken. You know what I mean? You're like, I, I can't do anything right now. Like, I don't even want to think about this versus like punch in the face. Sometimes you could still like, anyway, it's so funny you're doing this now because I'll have to give you the cliff notes of when violence is the answer as soon as I dig deeper into it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, anyways, it's a, it was an amazing workout. And I, I think my, my takeaway is uh, Zuck and his inter he, so Zuck went on Joe Rogan. He was talking about it. And Joe's like, you're doing MMA now? And he's like, yeah, you know, but uh, I just whatever he gives some reason for starting he goes he goes it's not like why are you doing mma it's more he's like now that i'm doing it i'm like why have i not been doing this my whole life he goes this is it's clearly the best and he, he says it like in such a you know computer nerd sort of way where it's like i have found the best workout right <laughs> it's like in the office what is the best bear there is yeah. a best, there is a best pair. <laughs> so that, that's how false. he was saying it. And I was like, um, yeah, exactly. False. MMA is the best bear. And so that's how I, that's how, when he said that, I was like, that's eh, probably right. And uh, I like the idea of getting competitive sweat in the morning. And I told the guy, I go, look, I'm going to sit at my keyboard all day after this. But like, if I could start the day with kind of like a, this like very intense, can't think about anything else type of workout, right? Like extreme focus is required. My mind is not going to be drifting around thinking about the to-do list and about this and about that, my email. No, I'm going to be locked into this. It's a very primal thing. I'm going to break a huge sweat and then I can go on with my day and everything else in my day, I will have, uh, it'll be much easier. I'm just, I know I'm preaching to the choir with you, but I, I feel like that's been my uh, my realization with it. And so, so I yeah, wanted, I'm, I'm and I actually, I wanted to spend 10 minutes and, and bring this topic up because you sent me this gym picture and your gym looked sick. And I and like two years ago or a year and a half ago, you saw mine and you're like, I'm going to get one. And you got one and it looks awesome. And then like four years ago, maybe you weren't in the best of shape and you've made a big difference. And so have I in terms of fitness. And I was thinking, I saw this guy. He's a picture of a 71 year old. His name's Mark. He started Primal or uh primal kitchen i think it's called and it's like a sauce business that i love but he's 71 years old and he shared this picture of him and he just looks great he's not like huge muscle guy but he's like really fit abs looks awesome and i realized this is the point of business like the point of business and money is like a there's like some practical reasons so providing for your your family two it's fun and fulfilling but three, like the point is like to live a really long and good life. And the really the best way to do that, no, money is maybe number two. Number one is just like being fit. And I wanted to spend 10 minutes talking about my personal. Well, I was like, what do engineers say?